Now that you're using SharePoint, you'll see that in the document libraries, when you upload documents, things like Excel and Word and standard Microsoft Office documents present an icon to the left-hand side of the document. However, when you upload something like a PDF file, in this case, the first file in our list called Books, you'll see that there is no specific PDF icon. This is because by default, SharePoint doesn't include a PDF icon. But we can configure this. The first step in the process is to download a suitable icon. A suitable icon for this can be found at www.adobe.com slash images slash PDF icon underscore small dot GIF. Download this file and save it into a directory C, Program Files, Common Files, Microsoft Shared, Web Server Extensions, 12, Template, Images. As you can see in this case I have already downloaded this icon and it is in this directory ready for use. Once you've done that the next thing to do is to locate a file called doc-icon.xml. You'll find this file in C, Program Files, Common Files, Microsoft Shared, Web Server Extensions, 12, Template, XML. Simply right mouse click on this file to edit it and it will bring up the contents of the file. What you need to do is you need to scroll down towards the bottom of the file where you notice the last entry that says mapping space key equals. What we need to do in here is we need to create an entry on a new line that will read mapping key equals inverted commas PDF close inverted commas value equals the name of the file we downloaded in this case PDF icon underscore small dot GIF, close inverted commas, space, open, control, equals inverted commas, inverted commas, backslash, close brackets. We then need to save this file, file, save, and to initialize this in SharePoint, we need to go to the DOS prompt and run an IIS reset to restart the internet information services on this server. Once IIS has been reset, we return to our SharePoint document library and if we now refresh the page, we should see a PDF icon appear next to any PDF files that we have loaded into our document library. And in this case, we get success. We see the new PDF icon that indicates PDF files in our SharePoint site. It's important to remember that just because you have a P now have a PDF icon, it does not mean that the information inside these PDF documents is automatically indexed by SharePoint. This would require an additional configuration of the server which we covered in a future video. If you are planning to install, migrate or maintain Windows SharePoint, we recommend you take a look at our Windows SharePoint Operations Guide. For more information, see www.wssops.com I'd like to thank you for watching the video and ask that if you found this video to be helpful to make a donation via donation.ciaops.net.au Also, please don't hesitate to send me feedback at director at ciaops.com or keep in touch via my blog supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog Thank you very much for watching.